Hello, this is an exercise in plotting a running fix that has course changes in between the two observations. So uh, it looks like we are going, it's, and it's an exercise from our workbook, and I'll put the links to the workbook and so forth in our course in the, in the description. But anyway, we start out with a bearing to this light over here, travel up here making several maneuvers, and then take a bearing to this light sometime later, and then we want to figure out what our fix is based on that. Uh, based on that. And here's the actual exercise. It's 6-18 in our, in our workbook called Navigation Workbook 18465TR. And so it's a running fix. So you're due north of Eda's hook, which means a bearing links 160M, and you estimate distance off as, as 2.5. So the key point here is we have our first LOP is a due, sort, due north south line right out of here. So I can just go in here, right click this this and say new route and that's the way we're going to draw the lines we just make these routes so I click here and then just go due north and I oh 340 that's correct right there escape okay so the, and I've set this uh, open CPN up to be uh, at uh, magnetic variation 20 degrees which is what we use for the chart so here's our first LOP and it says that we're two we estimate 2.5 miles north of there so I could do the same thing I can just say I'm going to make a new New route and then I'll just click right on the same plate say yes use that point then I'll just go up here 2.5 2.5 somewhere you know somewhere here it really doesn't matter where this is frankly but I'll just say it's somewhere here and say escape now that's my uh, that's my starting point that's my EP at the at before we start the navigation. Now we will go through and do these maneuvers then I sail three miles in direction 4, 8, M. So again, I start a route, a new route, and I'm going to start it from here. Oh, yes, yes, from here. And I'm going, uh, what is this, three miles in 048. There, oh, that's pretty close already. 048, three miles is something like right there. Then I turn and go 88 for 88 magnetic for 4.5 miles. There's 88, uh, 88, and 4.5 is somewhere. Uh, now, when you're doing this on the paper, you can be a lot more careful, and it's maybe even faster. But, I mean, if you can, we can also, okay, 4.5, okay. 4.5, yeah, that's there. And then we turn and go to 22 degrees, and we sail for another 3.2 miles at 22. So we go 3.2, that's the distance, 3.2, something there, and we're going on heading 222. So 3.2, oh, look at that, that's good. So escape. All right, so that's what we did. We did this, we, we, we are estimating, now forget all this, we're just estimating we're here. We're because we know we're somewhere on this line. We don't know where we're on this line, but that's a bearing to this light, 160. Yeah. So we, we could be here, here, here. We could be here. We've just estimated roughly that we're here. All right, then we do, we, but then we look at our logbook and we know exactly what we did. We sailed that many that way, that way, that way, that way. Now, at that point, at this point in time, when uh, at this point in time we get out the compass and we measure another bearing, but it's just to this lighthouse over here. And what was that one? Then uh, New Dungeon S light is now 084M, 084M. So here's a trick you can do. I, again, I do a new route. I come over here, I start here, and then I'm going to go this way. I want to go the other way, but this is a trick way rather than reverse things and everything. I get to my 084 right here, and then I just put that line right on top of the other one, like that, instead of escape. So here's a line. Everywhere on this line, this lighthouse bears, uh, bears uh, 08, 084. What was that, 084? Let me double check. 084. Okay. So this is an LOP here. You see, this one I could go in and say properties and let me make it say red. Red. Okay. Okay. And then over here, this is an LOP. 
and I could make it red. Red, okay. So there's my, there's my two navigation sites, a compass site here to this, and a compass site here to this, and I know in between those two sites, I did this. So I have to find out where can I start on this line and do that and end up on this line. Well, we have easy ways to do that. What we do is we just take this line here and move it over to here, right? We just advance this line to this point. Uh, now, advance, oh, this is actually due north, so that's really easy. I can advance that line just by doing this. I just say a new, oh, wait a minute. I'll just say a, a new mark, a new, a new route, and I'll just go here, start here, say yes, and then yes, and then just go due south to 160, right there, bang. Now, that's a, that's a new, that's also an LOP. That's an LOP right here. Whoop, oh, uh, did it change that? To, well, wait a minute. I have to be careful. This is an LOP. So in other words, this is the advanced LOP. So this is the actual fix. This is where I really was because I had this LOP then, and then I had this LOP, which I you can think of it as this. I nail this to the boat, right? I just... I just tack this on the boat so it can't move, and then I drive the boat here, 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 right? And then at here, then I've got this thing tacked to the boat, and it's here. So here's where my real position is. That's the fix. Now if I look at, now I can just come down, here's a lat lawn down here at the bottom. So I just go here and look at, oh, I can, uh, I can look at that position. I get 48, well, let me bring the answer up. Let's see what that is. Hopefully it's right. Okay, so I put that here. I put the cursor right there. And that is 4811.5. That's correct. And 123, 10 point, uh, what do I get? I get like 10.2, and this says 10.4. So anyway, I don't know which one is right. Probably the one in the answer book is right. But anyway, you see, that's the fix. All right, so that's the way that works. That's a running fix after that maneuver. Notice we don't have to have speed and time because we have basically the log reading. The log reading says how many miles we went in what direction. So speed and time is not required here. Next part, part B, is from this position, work backwards to find out what's your actual distance off the light when you estimated it was 2.5. Now we can maybe do some tricks. I could, of course, just take this point and work this route backwards, right? Go just here, here, here. It's gonna be down here somewhere, it looks like. But we could do something a little bit easier because we can figure our course made good. And so the course made good would be just, uh, my course made good is uh, basically from here to here. So let me just do this. Let me just say a new route, and I'm going to start it here. Yes, start there. And now I'm going to bring it to here, you see. And that's, okay, and I'm going to start. See, that's 9.5 miles and 237. Okay, yes. Okay, so I'm going to escape. 9.5 miles and 237. Now, if I actually reverse that, that would be the actual direction I went. So even though I went, I sailed this way, this way, and this way, I sailed all those miles and all those course changes, the net effect of what I did was this course made good going from here to here, like that. Now, they're asking me to go, see, and so I could actually go in here and say, uh, properties, no, that's not it, cancel. Um, let's see, is there a reverse? Oh yeah, reverse. I could reverse it, I don't know what that means, and then I could read it and say, my actual course made good was 9.5 miles in direction 057. But that's not what I want now because I'm gonna run my thing backwards, so I'm gonna reverse it again. Okay, and so where I wanna do now is 9.5 in direction 237. So I know I know that when I did all this maneuvering, I ended up right where? Right here, right? There's the intersection of the two. That's a, this should be drawn red too. But I think if I draw this red, everybody else, well, let me do, yeah, ah, let me do this. I'm gonna just say a new route 
and I'm just going to go from here to here like that okay escape and let's see if I can look at properties and make that guy red just just so we have something okay yeah okay so we have what's our navigation then we have a first LOP we have a second LOP, and then we have an advanced LOP. This one advanced to this one. So right there is our fix. So now to go backwards, all I do is go, uh, what is this again? 9.5 at 237. So again, one more route, drop a route, new route. And I click here at the start like that. Bang, right there. And now I've got to go back here to 9.4 at 237. 9.5 at 237. 9.5237 is about there. Well, you got a little bit of slop in it. Anyway, something like right there. Escape. All right. So then the answer is the, the question asks the second part of the question B. From this position, work backwards to find out how far you really were off the light. And that answer is this. And I can do that with the M key. I do the M key uh, and then go here. Whoop. M key, okay, yeah, and then go here, let's say here to here, and what is that? Um, it looks like I get one, I get 1.03, 1.04 mile. The answer says 1.0, 1.04, wait a minute, 1.04? Um, wait a minute, M key. Click here, M key. Oh, here is. I don't. Ha I didn't have my light centered exactly the right spot. That's another thing. You can always zoom in and do a little bit better. I get 1.03, but I don't. You see, I don't have my light exactly. I could have moved that up a point there. Okay, so that's the answer, and that's how you do it. And that illustrates uh, again. Hopefully, doing the. Hopefully, for those doing it all on paper, this is not misleading. Doing it this way, it's just so much faster to present the videos this way. And then just remember, with paper, you to get this line, you have to put your parallel rollers down here, move the line up to here, and then use the latitude scale to get your miles. You mark that off, and that's how you make that leg. So this is just a shortcut to the plotting.